phrase scientia potentia s is a Latin aphorism meaning knowledge is power and it's commonly attributed to the English philosopher Sir Francis Bacon. Hello viewers, I am pleased to bring knowledge to you on the program Science Education Half Hour with Udume Chiboise. My name is Priscilla Iwuru. Here on Television Nigerian, Udume Chiboise has made science subjects a lot simple for students who have challenges in the subject. So what are you waiting for? Go grab a pen and a notebook and come to the classroom. Today's subject is mathematics and the topic of today is cube. A cube is a symmetrical three-dimensional shape contained by six equal squares. The dimensions are length, breadth and height of all which are equal to each other. The examples of cube are a fair die, Marie cube, sugar cube, EVC. This is an example of cube and this is Marie cube. Every cube has six equal sides, the top and the base, the side and the other back of the side, the front and the back of the front. This is an example of cube. The distance from here to here is the length and distance from here to here is the height then the distance from here to here which is TR is also the height the distance from here to here is also the height so this place AQ is equal to DR and is equal to C, CS and they are the heights the distance between here to here is the length. It's also the distance between here to here is also the length. And the distance between here to here is also the length. They are equal. The distance between here to here is the breadth. And the breadth is also is at the back of this place. The elevation or the shape of this, we could not see the back of this. But note that in every side of the of the shape, there is a correspondence shape. So these are examples of cuboid. There are three formulas drive when working on cube. These formulas are number one, the area, the area of the of the cube. Number two, length of the diagonal length of the diagonal number three is the volume is the volume the length of the diagonal starts from b to this area this is the length of the diagonal Ranging from P to R is the length of the diagonal. We are going to drive the, the formula for the area of the cube. And we'll drive the formula for the length of the diagonal. I also drive the formula for the volumes of the, of the cube. is equals to from here to here is the length which is L and from here to here is the breadth which is times B the area of a square is equal to length times breadth and this shape which is Q has six equal sides to get the area of the cube is going to be equal to 6 times length times breadth which is equal to 6 lb and we know that the length is equal to b we now say that 
L is equal to B and is equal to X. We use X to represent the length. We have it to be equal to 6 times X times X, which is equal to 6X squared. So the unit of the areas of the of the cube is cm squared. It's equal to centimeter squared. If we substitute L for this X, the main area The main area of the cube is equal to 6L squared. For now, we'll be using the, the areas of a cube as 6L squared. We drive the areas of a length of the diagonal. Length of diagonal length of diagonal is equal to square root of x square plus x square plus x square which is square root of the square of the length plus the square of the breadth plus the square of the of the height which is equal to square root of when we add together, we we'll have it to be 3x squared. From the rules of salt, we we'll have it to be square root of 3 times square root of x squared. The, the square will cancel the square root. We we'll have it to be equal to root 3 times x, which is equal to x root Therefore, the length of diagonal is equal to is equal to x cube root of three. The second formula we have to drive is the volume volume of a of a cube. Volume of a cube is equal to length times breadth times the height, which is equal to x times x times x. We are using x to represent length. We also use x to represent breadth. We also use x to represent height. Since the, the dimension are equal, so it's going to be equal to x raised to power 3. That is x times x times x give you x raised to power 3. Therefore, The volume of a cube is equal to we substitute L for X for X, we have it to be L raised to the power 3. We are going to bring all this formula down. is equals to 6L square length of diagonal diagonal is equals to L root 3 volume is equals to L raised to the power 3 Example 1. A cube has a length of 5 cm. Calculate I surface area. I, I length of 
a diagonal ii i volume solution l is equals to 5 cl we solve for the area i area is equals to 6 l raised to the power 2 which is equals to 6 times 5 raised to the power 2 which is equals to 6 times 25 5 raised to the power 2 is 25 which is equals to more than 50 cm square the unit of area is centimeter square so this is the answer to the question example 2 if an area of a cube is 216 centimeter square calculate a length of the cube b length of its diagonal c volume d how many liters can it hold solution area is given from the equation is equals to 216 cm square we look for the the length l is equals to unknown because of area is given as 216 cm square we are going to use the formulas of the area to get the length area is equals to 6L square. We substitute 616 for area, which is 216 is equals to 6L square. We divide both sides by 6, which is going to be 216 divided by 6 is equals to 6L square divided by 6. 6 cancel 6. We have it to be L square is equals to. 216 divided by 6 is equals to 36. We have L square is equals to 36. We look for L by taking square root of both sides. The answer will become square root of L2 is equals to square root of 36. This square will cancel square root. The answer gives us L is equals to square root of 36 gives us 6. Therefore, the length is equals to 6. What's the unit of the length? You go back to the equation and the unit of the area is cm square. Means that the the unit of the length is cm. Now the length now is equal to ccm. We use this length to look for the diagonal. And the formula of length of diagonal is length of diagonal is equal to l square root of 3. We substitute 6 for the L which is equals to 6 square root of 3 which is equals to 6 times. We find the square root of 3. The square root of 3 is 1.7321. We multiply 6 times 6.7321. The answer is 10.3926. We keep the, we are presented to one decimal place, which is equal to this one decimal place. This is 9. 
Nine is round up. We call it one. We put it and give us four. Give us 10.4. And the unit of length of diagonal is CM. We saw for C. C. This. We are looking for the volume. The formula of volume is equal to L raised to the power 3. So we substitute 6 for L which is equal to 6 raised to the power 3 is equal to 6 raised to the power 3 meaning 6 times 6 times 6. So 6 raised to the power 3 is what? 6 times 6 times 6. You are correct. Which is equals to 216 cm. Now because this 6 is to the power 3, it means that the, the unit of volume is cm raised to the power 3. But the problem is that this question they give us as number D, we don't have the formula here. The question is how many liters can it hold? This list I talking about the quantity, which is the volume. You have to convert the volume, this volume, to the liter. To convert the volume to liter, which is CL cube, you divide by 1000. Divide by 1000. So to get the volume, the capacity in liter, now the capacity in liter is equal to L raised to the power 3 divided by 1000. 1000, which is equal to 216 divided by 1000. The answer gives us 0 0.216 liters. With this, we have gone to the end of today's mathematics class on Q. Welcome back. Trust you had an impactful lecture. Thank you so much for watching. For adverts and sponsorship considerations, please contact the following phone numbers 090 96 or 090-21-59-9127 or 080-33-628945. You can also follow us on our social media handle. Our Facebook page is TV Nigerian. You can also tweet at us at TV Nigerian. Instagram is TV Nigerian. You can also email us and our email address is info at tvn.news please subscribe to our youtube channel to get our latest videos our youtube handle is television nigerian thank you for watching Welcome to Living Treasures Academy. Enjoy a conducive and serene learning environment. Qualified and experienced teachers. Equipped computer laboratory and library. Secured atmosphere. Extracurricular activities an all-embracing curriculum for total development of the child, comprehensive education for leadership. Join us today from crash to secondary levels. Leaving Treasures Academy, committed to excellence.